Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 100. Hey, as always, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 100. Hey, trick number 100, we want to look at this if right here. And I want to show you how to replace big ifs like this with a simple max and min, or an even simpler median. Now, let's look at this little table here. This is assignments turned in by students, the number of assignments. So this student's turned in 16, this one 19, this one 25. Now there's actually 20 assignments in the class. So this person hasn't turned them all in. Uh, this person has turned in one more. Hey, what is that one more? Well, there's extra credit assignments. You can turn in up to six, but only three get to be counted, and actually the largest three. But here, we want in this column just to calculate the total number of extra credit assignments that uh, will be considered. Um, this person is going to have zero here, because they're under the 20 limit for the class. That's the total assignments, regular assignments. This person is over the 20 by one. But look, there's a max. We are only going to consider three extras. And this person, five. So a five would be the total number of extra credit assignments. But there's a limit of three. So before we do the final formula, let's just figure out if we can put in the cell zero for people that are under and the number of extra credit assignments they've, they've got. We're going to use the max function. I'm going to highlight the top cell and, and type equal max, open parentheses. And I'm going to take two cells to my left, their actual assignments, minus the ceiling, which is 20. That's the max number that you can have of regular assignments. And then I'm going to hit F4, F4 to lock it going down. So I'm going to take a max of that or 0. Now let's think about this. Right here, 16 minus 20 is a negative number. So the max of a negative number is 0 will be 0, which, which we need. They don't have any extra credit. Down here, it'll give us. 25 minus 20, so it will be 5, the max of 5, and 0. So it will dump 5 in this cell. Now, this isn't the final formula, but this at least gets us a little um, understanding how to get extra credit assignments in the column. Now, let's think about adding something more to this formula. Right here, this formula evaluates to 5. But wait a second. There's a max number that we're going to except five, they handed in five, but we're only going to take three of them. So what if we change this formula and put a min around the max and say, what's the min of five and three? It's three. What's the min of one and three? It's one. What's the min of zero and three? Zero. So that actually would work. I'm going to highlight all the cells. And in the cell at the top, I'm going to hit F2. And before the max, I'm going to type min, open parentheses, come to the end, and comma, this three. And then I'm going to hit F4, F4. That formula right there, min and max, will work all the way down. Now let's take this one step further. Here, I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. This, this part right here, if I highlight it and hit F9, which evaluates, that's, that number is 5. So max is going to take 5 or 0. I'm going to Control Z to undo that. And then this right here, you could F9 it and see that that's a 3. Control Z to undo it. And so this, there's three numbers here, 5, 0, and 3. And it needs to take the 1 in the middle, so 3. Let's look up here. This one right here, this part is negative. If I hit F9 and Control Z, negative 7, there's a 0 here. And here's a 3. So what's the 1 in the middle? Negative 7, 0, 3. It's going to take the 0. So let's try median instead. And remember, the point is, is replacing all this with a median. And uh, the, the pattern you recognize is when you have some hurdle to jump over. Um, sometimes when you have that situation, like in our payroll example in a second, you can use this min, max, or median to replace a big if. I'm going to highlight all the cells. And then in the top cell at the, uh, the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to say equals median. And I'm going to say this, three cells to my left, minus. The ceiling, lock going down. So that's one number, comma, 0, comma, or this number. 
there it is, median. It's always going to take either this, 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 the one in the middle, control enter. That is amazing. Now let's go apply this in two other situations. We have a payroll and then a commission sales example. I'm going to click on the payroll sheet. And here's a formula. Um, here is a payroll table. And these two columns, we just need to figure out how much of their paycheck is taxable. We have begin cumulative, the actual pay for this period and end cumulative. And we need to figure out how much of the earnings are taxable. Oh, there's a ceiling though for unemployment it's 7,000, for social security it's 96. Now, look at this person right here. They're already way over. For so so we need a zero and a zero here. But what about this person right here? 95,500. Well, they're way over the unemployment, but they're not Oh, they actually jumped over the hurdle this period. Whoop. 96, so actually we need 500 there. Whereas this person right here, they're way under both, so they need the total. Notice there's three values. You either need to take the whole paycheck, zero, or the difference between the ceiling and the begin cumulative. So I'm going to highlight all these cells right here and hit delete. And then the, the a light colored cell at the top, I'm going to say equals median. And I'm going to say ceiling. Now look at this. These are two columns with two assumptions down here. So I need to lock this going down, but not to the side, because when it jumps over to this column, it needs to move to that new ceiling. That ceiling minus whatever our, our begin cumulative is. And I need to lock this going to the side, but not down. So it's dollar sign B3, comma, 0, comma, the total pay. And I need to lock this one going across the columns, but not down. So it moves as it goes through the employees, but it moves over to Social Security. It's still locked. And that, amazingly enough, that formula will replace that huge if. And there it is, perfectly. Now, as always, in these sheets, I have some notes at the top. But in this one, I have actual examples of the if right there, the min max, which we saw just a minute ago, and the median. So you can come and download this and look at this. It's a pretty ingenious way uh, to get rid of a uh, big if. And the key is that there is some hurdle and that you're going along, going along, and at some point you jump over the hurdle. Now let's look at our next example. We'll click on the sales sheet. This is a commission example. So Sue Win sales for January, February, March, April, May. And the way the commission structure works is when you get past a cumulative amount of $1,000, you get not 2%, but 3%. So for uh, the first three months, they're going to earn 2% commission. But in April, they're going to jump over, and their cumulative earnings will just uh, jump over 1,000. And so we'll need to switch. Now, let's first look at a formula for calculating a running total. And then we'll calculate the individual um, commissions, and then we'll do it all in one formula. Now, cumulative total, we're going to use the sum function. The keyboard shortcut for auto sum is Alt equals. Now, I'm going to click in B7 and hold Shift colon. That puts a B7, B7. And we need an expandable range. In this cell, I need to add 500. But when I copy the sum over to here, it needs to be looking at 500 and 200 and then et cetera all the way down. So I will click in the B7 and hit the F4 key one, two, three times to lock the column reference. Control Enter, and then I'm going to drag it over. So for example here, if I hit the F2 key, Edit, you can see the range is expanding. B7 is locked, but the, this uh, B7 way over here moved properly to D7. Now. Uh, you can see right here, cumulative, cumulative, cumulative. All three of these are going to be at that 2%. But in this one month, the problem is some of this commission here will be at the 2%. In fact, um, 850 minus 1,000 right, will be at 2%. But the remaining amount, 1,500 minus 1,000, will be at the 3%. Now let's go ahead and just calculate uh, these commissions down here. It would be e easy if we just had 2%. It would be equals whatever the monthly sales are times are 2%. F4, 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 that locks it. Control Enter. Um, and in fact, let's go ahead and copy this all the way over. Click in the last cell, make sure, yeah, OK, we got it. That's commissions at 2%. And our formula actually will calculate all the commissions at 
and then add the difference when we get over the hurdle. So, for example, let's see if we can calculate the amount needed to uh, get the difference between 3 and 2 will be 1%. What's the amount that we're going to multiply by that 1%? Here it's 0, right? Here it's 0, here it's 0, but what is it here? We've jumped over the hurdle. We've already calculated the amount at 2%, but there's the difference between these two, 500, needs to be uh, multiplied times 1%. That's the extra commission. Here, it's the whole amount, right? Because the 450 times 2% give us 9, but we still need the whole 450 because we're completely over the hurdle times the 1%, the difference between these. So let's just see if in right here we can calculate a formula that will give us 0, 0, 0, 500, 450, 900. We will use our median. So here we're going to put 0, comma, other, um, another number is the actual sales amount. We're going to need it when we get past here, or the difference between our cumulative total. And I'm actually going to do it right here, sum, and then B7, colon, and lock this one. Oops. Lock this one right here. I accidentally hit F5 instead of F4. Uh, when these pop up, I always say no and then OK, because I can edit it myself better than uh, Excel can. I'm going to hit the F4 key, not the F5 key. That minus whatever our hurdle is up here, and lock that in front of the column. Close parentheses. Now, if this works, it'll give us 0, 0, 0, 500, 450, 900. So I'm going to control enter and copy it over. And sure enough, those are the exact amounts times 1%. So let's add that 1% to get the commission. We have the commission at 2%, and now we need the commission for 1%. In this cell, the active cell, I'm going to hit F2. And then times the median, I'm just going to say in parentheses, 3%, F4, 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 minus 2%. That'll give us our 1% times whatever that uh, median spits out. I'm going to control enter to populate the uh, all the cells with the formula. And now we can simply um, add equals SUM, control enter. And those are the amounts. Now, we're going to mash these uh, two different parts into one uh, cell right here. I'm going to go ahead and click in this cell and hit the F2 key, control CC. And by the way, if you do not have in 2007 and 10, if you don't have your um, options in the clipboard, and you would open up the clipboard home right there, boop, options, and then you have to say uh, CC for this. In earlier versions, it just works. Control CC. I have my formula part right there. Now I'm going to come here, F2, Control C, and now I have my two formula parts. Span the edge here. Escape, and then I'm going to come here. I'm going to type an equal sign, click on that, and then I need that gives us the the ten dollars here, right? The two percent plus whatever this formula spits out, which is the extra amount at one percent. So there's our formula right there. Totally beautiful median. It's just amazing what you can learn when you hang out at the MrExcel.com message board. Control Enter. And then I'm going to copy it over, close parentheses. I mean, sorry, um, uh, close that clipboard so we have a little bit more room. And there we have it, our um, totally amazing formula. There's the moment we jump over the hurdle. And 2%, uh, 3% with that beautiful median. We'll see you next trick.